And finally, it is official now, Pluto is no longer a planet. The International Astronomical Union voted it out of the planet business today. And planet is strictly defined to be a body rounded by... In fact, Pluto had been officially demoted by the International Astronomical Union. Those in favor of Resolution 1. So what's the problem with Pluto? Why isn't it a planet? What exactly is a planet? It's gotta be round, right? body needs to be round because of its size or its self-gravity. Big enough to pull itself together, have enough gravity, have enough mass to make it round. Otherwise, it really is just a chunk. Makes sense. Presumably, it goes around the sun, right? A planet is an object that orbits the sun. Got it. Anything else? There's primary planets, so the Earth. Jupiter and Pluto, then there are secondary planets. The moon is a secondary planet because it orbits a primary planet. And you could have tertiary planets, terrestrial planets, gas planets, icy planets. And... Stop, 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 stop. All right, guys, most of the scientists seem to think Pluto's a planet. So what's up? It seems it wasn't Pluto itself that was the problem, but that Pluto was no longer alone. Astronomers had found another tiny object out near Pluto. Then others, and yet more. Over a thousand planet-like objects, some as big as Pluto. They called this new region the Kuiper Belt. A massive constellation of space rocks and ice orbiting the sun. You see, when they discovered the Kuiper Belt, there were potentially thousands of new Pluto-sized planets. And they'd all need names. The reaction was, well, we can't have too many planets because school children will never remember the names of them. Really? I thought to myself, do we have to limit the number of stars while we're at it? It would be disastrous for astronomy if we come away from the General Assembly with nothing. We will be regarded as complete idiots. They decided to call the biggest objects in this Kuiper belt dwarf planets, and that included Pluto. So now we have Pluto and the 7,000 dwarfs. The thing about planets is that it's not their size that matters, but what they can tell us about our origins. And the Kuiper belt discovery only made New Horizons' mission to Pluto more important. These rocks are the relics left over from the formation of the solar system. And they may help us to understand how planets form, including our Earth. Pluto is a fossil that's really going to help us to understand exactly what was going on during those early years when the Earth was forming and all of the other planets. But getting close to all this stuff poses a big problem. There could be debris floating around that could destroy the spacecraft. 